Hey everyone, this is Afizullah Masoodi and you're watching from Code with Hafiz. I welcome you to this video where we will discuss a new update of Laravel 9 which includes VJS as asset bundler. So now Laravel intends to use VJS for asset compiling and bundling instead of using Webpack Mix. And that is because VJS is much faster than Webpack Mix in compiling the assets in our project. If you still want to use Laravel Webpack Mix, please refer to my other video which was uploaded before this one and you can see the installation process step by step. So in this video I will show you how you can use VJS in Laravel 9 while removing public from URL and then installing VJS version 3 and finally installing Bootstrap 5. So instead of doing each in a separate video, I have decided to do all of these three tasks in this one video. So first you will learn how to remove public from the URL and then you will learn how to use Vue.js version 3 and then finally we will install Bootstrap 5 in our Laravel 9 and Vue.js application. So let's start guys. So first of all we need to download a fresh Laravel 9 project in our htdocs directory of the XAMPP local server. So for that we have to go to the documentation as I am already in the documentation. So let's go to uh, this link and if you scroll down in here we will find the command uh, to install a fresh project. So let's copy this composer command and let's open a new uh, terminal and let's head to the uh, htdocs directory so cd opt lamp and then htdocs and let's paste our command. So for the project name let's name it Laravel Vite.js and let's press enter. So our fresh Laravel 9 project has been installed uh, successfully. Now let's head to the uh, project directory. So cd Laravel Vite.js and let's open it in Visual Studio Code. So code space dot. So the first thing that we will do is we will remove public uh, from the URL. So for that we uh, can grab two files from the public directory and put it in the root directory. So first of all we must copy this index file so let's copy it and uh, let's paste it in the root directory like this. And second let's copy in the .ht access file so let's copy it and let's paste it here like this. So for this index.php uh, we need to customize these links so we need to remove these extra dots which goes one folder and back so let's select all of them at once by pressing Ctrl D and let's remove it like this. Now we can save the file and close it. And in this .ht access file, uh, the only thing that we need to add is to secure our .env file. So for that we can open a files tag here. So let's say files and we want to target .env and now we must uh, close it. So let's say files like this and inside here let's say order allow comma deny and we want to deny from all like this. So let's save this and close it. So because we have removed a public uh, from the uh, URL and because we are using VJS, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to point out the asset URL for all of our assets and directory. So we can do that in the .env file. So let's open it and in here uh, let's say asset underscore URL and this should equal to a public slash like this. Now this being done we can close this one also so let's get back to the terminal and clear the config cache to compile all the uh, config changes. So let me clear it first. Now let's say php artisan config colon cache. So we have removed public from the URL now let's open our project in the browser to see how it looks. So let's go to localhost and uh, my XAMPP server is already running. So let's say Laravel VJS. And yeah, well, I am getting this error because I am using Linux. So I have to give some permissions to the project directory. And if you are using Windows or Mac, you should be good to go. So for this one, uh, to solve, uh, let's say sudo and then chmod hyphen or for recursive and for directories. So 757 and uh, next up uh, let's say opt lamp htdocs and laravel vjs and let's press enter. Now I will put my password here and let's uh, clear it and now it will work. So let's refresh and you can see 
now it's working now this being done the next thing that we want to do is install Vue.js version 3 so let's get back to our terminal and install the required packages so to install Vue.js we can use uh, package managers now for this tutorial I will use yarn so let's say yarn add view at next and for the compiler let's say at view slash compiler dash sfc at next and because we want to save these uh, dependencies as dev dependencies so for that we can say dash dash dev and then press enter now in the middle of the installation it will prompt you for choosing the compiler version so the uh, latest one is already selected the only thing we, that we need to do is press enter now this being done the next thing that we need to install is a vjs plugin for vue.js so for that we can use yarn add and then add vue.js and then a slash and let's say plugin and hyphen view and let's press enter so the plugin has been installed successfully now the next thing is to set up everything in our project to use vue.js so let's get back to visual studio code and the first thing that we will do is uh, let's just scroll to the very down and open with config.js file so we will use the plugin in here so first of all we need to import it so let's say import view and from at vjs plugin view like this and now we can use it in our plugins so in here let's say view parenthesis like this and let's put a comma also now this being done let's open our app.js file to configure vjs so let's go to resources js and app.js so in here we need to import view so let's say import curly braces and we want to create app so we want to import it from a view like this and next up we want to create a variable so let's say const app should equal to create app well this should be create app and then parenthesis curly braces and now we want to mount so let's say app dot mount and we want to target an id so let's say hash app like this now let's create uh, this um, id or html element with this id so let's go to views and we'll complete now i will remove all of this code from here and let's say exclamation mark and a tab so for the title let's say laravel 9 with vjs like this and then we want to import our stylings so now we can use vjs so let's say wait and for this one we will go to resources like this slash css slash app dot css and we will do the same for the javascript so let's duplicate it and let's say js like this and let's create a div with the id of app so let's say hash app and press in the tab and for now let's only put an h1 so uh, let's say this is a heading like this now this will still not work and throw you a warning because we need to do uh, something or uh, declare an alias for vue.js plugin in our uh, vue.js config file so before that uh, let me show you uh, the warning so first of all we need to compile uh, the changes so let's say yarn run dev and you can see it is very fast and it's already compiled so let's get back to our browser and let's refresh and you can see our heading is not showing so if we inspect the console so let's go to the console and let me close this one so you can see it is prompting or giving us this warning which says we should put uh, alias of view to view dist and esm bundler so what we can do is we can resolve this one so let's copy this bundler uh, name or path and let's get back to visual studio code and let's go to read config js and in here now we will resolve so let's say resolve curly braces and we want to uh, use alias so curly braces and we want to target view so for this one we will put that path like this so if i save this get back to the browser and you can see it hot reloaded automatically and now we are getting our heading and if we check out the extension of chrome now you can see it says vue.js is detected on this page now this being done the final thing that is left is installing bootstrap 5 
So let's get back to our terminal and install the required packages. So let me open a new tab here. So the first thing that we will install is a bootstrap uh, package. So let's say yarn add bootstrap. And this should be bootstrap like this and let's press enter. Now the next thing is to install proper JS. As you can already see, it is throwing this warning to install proper JS. So let's copy this and let's say yarn add paste it and let's press enter. And now the final thing that we need to install is a SAS. So let's say yarn add a SAS and we want to add this one as div dependency. So let's say dash dash div and let's press enter. Now this being done, all of our required packages have been installed successfully. So let's get back to the Visual Studio code. And first of all, let's set up everything in our uh, config JS. So we need to create another uh, path for our SAS. So let's copy this one like this and let's paste it here like this. So for this one, we will use a SAS. So let's say SAS and the extension should be SCSS like this. And we also want to uh, put an alias here because bootstrap will not work. So for this one, uh, let's say uh, a tilde mark and let's say bootstrap and we want to equal this one to bootstrap like this and now it will work. Now the next part is to load uh, bootstrap uh, JS. So for that we need to load it in bootstrap.js file. So in here let's import it first. So let's say import and we want to import all as bootstrap. So let's say bootstrap and we want to import it from bootstrap like this and then we can pass it to the uh, window API also. So let's say window dot bootstrap and it should equal to bootstrap like this. And this being done, now we have to configure the SAS. So in the resources, let's right click and let's create a folder. Let's name it SAS and let's right click uh, in this folder, create a new file. Let's name it app.scss. And in here, now we can import. So let's say import and let's say tilde bootstrap slash scss slash bootstrap like this and now we need to use uh, this uh, scss file in our blade also so let's go to welcome blade and let's duplicate this one so this time we will go to sas and load scss file like this so if we save this now well let's also create a, a button here to see if our bootstrap is working so in here let's create a button and let's say hello world and let's give it some class so let's say class btn btn dash success well this should be a success like this now let's save this and get back to the browser and now you can see it is already working and bootstrap has been installed successfully now the final thing i want to show you if we get back to the terminal and if i cancel uh, this compiling so let's cancel it and you can see we are getting this error and if i refresh the page we will get this error so to fix this, it needs to be uh, in production mode. So for that, we can run yarn run build. And now it will work without uh, compiling anything. So let's wait for it to finish. So everything has been compiled successfully. And if we get back to the browser now, refresh. Now you can see it is still working. So guys, this was everything about this video. So now you uh, learned how to use VGs along with removing a public from the URL and also installing Vue.js version 3 and finally installing Bootstrap 5. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If so, don't forget to give the thumbs up and a nice comment too. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe too if you want more videos like this. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.